Hey there everybody, welcome back. Brent here from GBMC Gaming. This is episode 8 of our Technic Let's Play. And I just came back up to my loot chest here. I'm getting a little bit of frame rate lag here. Anyways, I'm just going to turn this off quickly. And I came back up to my loot chest, and while I'm here, I noticed that I lost my armor, except for my boots. I only have my boots left. But we do have this helmet in here, and we do have these two golden leggings. But I'm not actually going to wear them, because that's a waste. I'm actually just going to turn them back into EMC when we get home. So I'm going to grab everything from this chest that I can. I believe I can take it all, which is a lot of EMC. This is really worth it. I'm glad we came here. And can't take everything. So let's ditch um, flax seeds or wood. I'll say the flax seeds because I don't need them. And we don't need those seeds either. So I'm going to leave those in there in any case. And hopefully I don't die on my way home, because guaranteed I probably would. So I'm going to try and make my way down here. I'm just going to dive in and get that boat. Whoa. Oh crap. There's a skeleton archer following me. Of course there is. And I, I had to fight him. As you can see, his helmet's gone. I had to fight with him to get back up to my loot chest from that boat on the other side of this castle here. So today... I think we're going to do a little bit of stuff with build craft and industrial craft. I'm not really sure entirely, but we have to start harvesting that oil that we found over uh, over by where I was harvesting those trees a while back. I think it's actually over in that direction. I'm not 100% sure. I know it's next to rubber trees and then across a bit of water. So we're going to have to harvest as much as we can. So we need a couple certain items, but we don't have them yet. It might actually not be this episode until we get started with that, but we'll see. In any case, I have to head home here and uh, see what's up. As you can see, these trees aren't decaying. Well, I, I cut those things down like episode 1 or 2, and they're still not completely decayed. So it's probably something to do with the chunks not loading around them. Because I heard something about chunks not loading around, or like trees and stuff not doing anything around the, uh, anything but the player. So if you're not around, they will not do anything whatsoever, including grow. So... Stick around your trees. Even chunk loading blocks don't work, apparently, so that's kind of crappy. I don't even know if I showed you guys what flax gave you yet, but I'll get, I guess I'll go show you now. It's nothing special, but it's probably something that you guys could have guessed. Uh, I just got scared of running on my crops. But you just run up to it, punch the top one when this blue one grows, and it gives you string and more flax seeds, but I can't even pick it up. That was a waste. Oh, well. So there's some eggs here. I can't pick them up. That's a waste. <laughs> Okay, I think we should dump all our stuff since we're loaded with junk. In fact, let's go actually toss these in the, uh, toss this, these gold leggings in here. Look at that, 14,336 per legging. Let's put both of them in there. Sweet. Look at that, we can get three diamonds out of that. Uh, so I'm just going to toss them in there. There we go. And we can actually charge up our Klein Star with that. So let's go grab our Klein Star now. Wherever we put it, valuables? No. Mod items? No. This one over here? No. Tools? There it is. Okay. Sweet. So let's go teach our, or, sorry, grab all the EMC out of here. There we go. Perfect. Now our client star is just over halfway full, and they're going to teach all of our, or our crafting table, or our, sorry, what's this thing called? Transmutation table. All of our wools that we got here. There we go. So now we can actually uh, teach our, what? I thought that worked. That's strange. I always thought that worked. Okay, I guess it's not the uh, the newer ones. I guess it's just the gold disc, the green disc, and the broken disc or something. Maybe it's just those two. Sorry, the car is going inside my window. It's actually pretty late. It's actually 11.06 at the moment. So I'm going to have to go to bed very soon, and I can't record in the morning because I'm going to school early, sadly. Woo. But uh, that's what you get for having exams in two weeks or a week or so. So, what am I going to do? Organize my inventory, that's what. Actually, I'm just going to toss these wool right in here and just burn them up. And um, I already have that taught as well as iron, so don't have to worry about that. Teach it arrows, I guess. Why not? Why not? No voice cracks, please. It's late. Leave me alone. But I guess we'll just toss all of our... No. We'll keep it all. Keep everything for now. And let's go into our miscellaneous junk thingy. Put our uh, bones, our hmm, our bow, our book, some p 
potions, I suppose. I don't know what this diffuse potion is. I believe that's something to do with the mod, because I don't remember it from the vanilla game. But there's a bunch of items here that we don't need, so I'm going to put these records in another valuables chest that I made here, just because we're overflowing with valuables. And I'm not complaining, believe me. So, where are we going to put our food? Valuables over here? Yeah, for now we're just going to put all of this uh, food that we have here. Glistening melon isn't a food, but I think you understand what I mean. And as well as our saddle, because I know you can't teach it to a transmutation table. So, these can go in here, I suppose. There we go. And arrows can go in miscellaneous junk. That's where it was, anyways. There we go. Put this in here. Okay, so we're set. Our inventory is all organized. And now we're going to go get some more iron to make a new bit of armor. Because that's what we need. So let's make one piece of armor, or one piece of iron. Actually get some more. No, you know what? No, let's not. Let's just got our, get our client started there. And go over here somewhere. There's some gold. That's pretty cool. Put that back. And take some iron. We don't have very much there. There's our iron. Perfect. And uh, we can also grab our client star and tools, or not a client star, our philosopher's stone, destruction catalyst, and mining drill. Sweet. So now, let's go ahead over here. No, let's go over here and make our chest plate, I suppose. There we go. Iron chest plate. And we'll make the pants as well. Don't need that much iron. Okay. So now, we have a good charge on our client star. Let's put this on, in fact. So we might want to go mining now. I'm not really sure. We'll either go mining or do something else. Um, like I said, I want to do stuff with build craft, but it's pretty late right now, so I'm not going to get to it tonight. And I'll probably forget about it tomorrow. So if I actually get any recording time done tomorrow, because I'm not going to be home after school, and late in the evening I might be pretty tired, like I am now, and might be boring, like I am now. So uh, let's put this back. This tungsten is oh, that's worth so much. We have 14 diamonds if we convert all that. Good amount of gunpowder, too. Let's take all of the gunpowder we have yet again. Is any here? No? Okay. I guess we don't have any more than this. Sweet. That's not bad, actually. 38 gunpowder. Pretty good. So we're going to actually... No, let's not. Never mind. I was going to turn it all into EMC, but we're not going to. So I have to think of something to do now. I think it's... Something to do with not going outside and get my butt kicked by a zombie. So just get off my doorstep, man. Right here. Grab this and head back inside. Alright. Guys probably can't hear me when I mumble like that. Sorry about that. And grab this melon, why not? Sweet. So let's go ahead and sleep until dawn. And there we go. Should be finished up here soon. Two seconds, one second, done. Perfect. Okay, and it's raining. Normally Minecraft does the opposite. When you rain or when you sleep, it stops raining. But apparently now when you sleep, it starts. So now what we're gonna do, I suppose, is more industrial craft stuff. So we're gonna have to get some more coal here. Uh, how much exactly? 16 to be exact. And let's get some of this. There we go. Put that back. Organize it. We don't even have to. So we need 16 coal and put it in the macerator. Yes, you can put coal in the macerator, and each one coal gives you one coal dust. And you need coal dust to make a certain item. But we're going to need a new machine before we do anything with this coal dust. And that is the compressor. So we need six smooth stone, one... Six smooth stone? Yeah, one mach machine block and one uh, electronic cir circuit. That's it. Mod items... Let's get some rubber here, and we need some copper again. Let's get three of it. I'm not gonna macerate it. Ah! It's loud. It's loud. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, it's going along slowly but gradually. Shut up! Oh my god. There. Okay, that's better. Ow! What am I dying from? What the hell? What was that? What the hell? If I touch my macerator, it hurts me? Since when? Ow, what in the name of Christ is going on here? Something is up. What? What? 
What in the world? Something going on here that's not very fun. I have no idea what's going on there. If you know, tell me, please, because I have no clue. I'm trying to get back here without getting hurt by something. I think it's my macerator, but I'm not really sure. I guess it doesn't like when I turn the sounds down. It likes to be heard, apparently. So let's go ahead and get to around that and get some close, or redstone, sorry. And one refined iron. And we'll make... Let's get our... our uh, wow, we already have it. Fail. Let's get our philosopher's stone so we don't have to keep running by that evil macerator. <laughs> I have no idea what it's doing that for. And we need one more refined iron. Of course we do. Let's go ahead and make it up, actually. I get two. Okay, I'm trying to stay away from it. Jeez. There we go. Get one more just to put in our chest there so we don't... Uh, so we have room in our chest for later on. And we don't fill that spot in where we know we need refined iron to be. So, put that... No, not that. Oh my god. That there. And then make a machine block. We're gonna have to smelt six more cobblestone, or six cobblestone into uh, smooth stone. There we go. Put that in here. That will cook up, I think, our... Alright, it's almost halfway done. But this is so strange. What in the world? Is it my macerator or what? I think it is. But it's not doing anything to me. I'm not... Okay, yes it is. I think it's my macerator, but I can't really tell. Okay, it's something over here. And Okay, I think it's the wire. Maybe that's what happens to uninsulated cables. So let's go. Yeah, that's what it is. So there's so much power going through these things that it's actually giving off electricity and hurting anything that goes near it. You know, we could use that to our advantage, actually. Huh, that's a good thing to keep in mind. Set up like a trap around my house. I'm pretty sure this is how the recipe goes. So let's put uh, stone like that, machine block in the middle. There we go, compressor. Sweet. Epic squeeze. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Epic squeeze? Wouldn't that be extractor? Okay, anyways, let's just continue on here. Try and avoid our uh, evil wires, anyways. So let's go ahead and get some more rubber here. And a bit more copper. There we go. One more is fine. So we're going to have to extend our little industry here by getting a little bit more wire. Oh, crap, we need two more copper to make wires. Forget about that. So we're going to need a little bit more wire here just to place it under the floor. And then we're going to need to uh, place our compressor. We're going to use that on our uh, some item that we're going to make with our coal dust, and we'll see in the future. We're actually get, taking 16 coal dust and turning it into two items. So that's something cool. Cool and nifty. So let's make these into uninsulated copper cabling and make that into one copper wire. That's all we need. And place that there. Sweet. And it automatically refilled into my uninsulated cable. That's cool. So there we go. We got some power now. And uh, that's even more power going through these cables here. Should be insulated. It's dangerous. I didn't actually think that was, like, actually what would happen. I'm really glad it's not realistic down to the point that it would light my house on fire. Not to give the mod makers any ideas. That would be kind of crappy. Anyways, so now that we have our compressor, we're going to wait here until this coal dust is finished. So hold on a second. And there we go. Okay, so 16 coal dust. Perfect. Now let's take this 16 coal dust here and divide it into four little slots here and turn it into four raw carbon fibers. So we're going to take these raw carbon fibers again and put them in a two block thing like that. That'll give us raw carbon mesh. Two of them, exactly. So we're going to put these two raw carbon meshes in our compressor here. And that's the sound it makes. I thought I had my sounds off. Brr, makes me angry. Okay, I guess it's just going to continue on making annoying noises. In any case, so when this is finished compressing, it'll turn into two new items. But while those are finishing up, we're going to have to put some copper and tin in the macerator yet again. Uh, two exactly, and six. So let's uh, start cooking up this. How's our energy doing? We are now still getting energy, and it still hurts me to go near this. Not a good idea when I'm low on health, or hunger and health, actually. Let's go check, our tower, check out our melon farm here. So it wasn't doing that earlier. I wonder if it's just like a gradual buildup of energy. It's pretty cool, actually. I, I like that. 
actually gives you a reason to make insulated copper cables. But these ones are much more better, are much better because they carry energy over far distances better. So in any case, our compressor is finished, and as you can see, we get these square things called carbon plates. We only need two of them. So that's pretty cool. Now, like I said, we have to cook up our copper and tin and put them both in the macerator, and that'll turn them into dust, and we can make more bronze out of them. But while that is doing that, I'm going to get some more iron. Uh, five, six, six is fine. And we'll put that in the electric furnace. We're going to have to get a bit more tin as well. So that'll be there, and we need six. Yeah, six exactly. Okay. So that's one copper dust. We need six of it and two copper, or tin dust, rather. So I'm going to macerate all this. And our tin should be done here. There we go. Okay, so let's turn these tin dusts and copper dusts into bronze dusts. So four, it will be just enough, actually. So let's uh, cook these up in the electric furnace. We actually need, only need three of them. I'm actually going to go into the uh, the folders here soon and check and see in industrial craft, see if I can actually make the recipe work, that I could just use tin and copper ingots rather than having to macerate them into dusts. It's much more efficient. So three is enough. We'll leave that. Uh, actually, no, screw it. We'll uh, get that in a bit. We don't need this much tin and refined iron, actually. In any case, let's go ahead and craft a new item. There's a car going by again. So we need to put the bronze along the bottom, three refined iron along the top, tin in the middle, I think. No, I think the tin and bronze is switched. Yeah, okay. Switch these two, and we get two mixed metal ingots. Now, what you do with these is you put them in your compressor here, and if we wait until these are finished here, you will get advanced alloy. So, advanced alloy is used a lot in industrial craft, especially with nuclear reactors. You're gonna need, need like a hundred of these things if you're gonna want, want to make a uh, nuclear reactor. So that's just like the basic advanced alloy. <laughs> basic advanced alloy, that made perfect sense. We're gonna need two of them actually. And some more refined iron, forgot about that. Uh, five should be good. Toss this in here, take that out, put this back, and we can't, oh well, can't put that anyways. Put this in here, I guess. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for this to finish. And there we go. Okay, five refined iron plus our three that we had here. There we go. Open up our crafting square. As you could probably have guessed, we need an advanced, or sorry, a machine block. Put it in the middle with our carbon plates on top and bottom, or we could put them on the side and side and reverse this, and our advanced alloys on the sides, and that gives us an advanced machine block. This is used to make the uh, advanced machines in industrial craft. Uh, actually, I think it's a new mod, actually, or a different mod altogether with, for these advanced machines, the most of them anyways. But for now, we're going to have to grab our electric furnace here. So we're going to grab our wrench wherever we put it. Uh, it's not here. Mod items? There it is. Okay. Our wrench. Hopefully we get lucky here. Did we get it? Did we? I think we did. Awesome. That's good. So let's grab our cable here and fix this back up. There we go. So with our electric furnace and a bit more refined iron. No, I think we need... What do I need again? I think I need... I think it's refined iron. Maybe I'm wrong. For the induction furnace. Or is it... Let me look up the recipe here. I think it's something. I can't remember. I think it might be tin, actually. Induction. There it is. Induction furnace. Ah, copper. Duh. Okay, so let's get some more copper going. Need seven of it. Put it in the furnace that we don't have. Oh dear. Should have thought about this beforehand. So let's go ahead and do this the old fashioned way, I suppose. Um, we need coal. So let's get one coal. Actually, let's use charcoal. Just because it's cheaper. No, not gold. Cheap. Charcoal. The charcoal. No, charcoal. Crime, and you have to go to sleep. Okay. Let's cook this up. And there we go. There's our copper. Let's open up our crafting square here. Yes, I'm right next to a crafting table, but opening it like this is cooler. So, electric furnace in the middle, advanced machine block on the bottom, and surround the rest with copper. We got ourselves the induction furnace, baby. Oh, yeah. 
awesome. So let's put that there. As you can see in the interface, there's two slots here. It's just getting power now. Two slots here and two slots here. So obviously that means you can cook two things at once. That is awesome. So you can have gold in this slot and iron in this slot. Gold will appear here and iron will appear here. And they're the same speed, so you just double it up. Now this heat thing here is just the uh, efficiency at which it'll cook things. So let's go ahead and get a good representation here. Let's get some copper, I guess. Yeah, four is enough. Let's get one piece of copper and put it right there. As you can see, it is taking ages just to do this, okay? But as you can see, it's also building up heat. So once this heat hits 100, it'll be going crazy fast, and it's awesome. But one thing that you'll have to note is when you take this out, the heat will go down fairly quickly. So one thing, one way to prevent that is put a redstone torch. So let's get one piece of redstone and one stick that we have here. Put it like that, make the regular redstone torches, and put it right on top there. As you can see, the red just came on there, indicating that it's on. This will take up a bit of power. As you can see, we're losing power now. No, not what I'm talking about. We're getting power now. It does take a couple EU per tick, but as you can see, we're building power without even making anything. So when this is at 100%, it'll stay at 100% as long as this redstone torch is on. Or you can use any kind of redstone current. It doesn't have to be a torch, I don't think. I could be wrong about that. But, yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure you can, because I, I remember putting levers just on the block itself. So, in any case, I'm going to wait until this is completely heated up, but I'm not going to do it right now because I have to go to bed because it is 11.30 at night and I have to go to sleep because I have school early in the morning as usual. But it is Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, the next day is Friday. So I'm looking forward to that Friday, kind of, because there's a ton of homework coming up. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you guys now is that I'm recording this prior to uploading, so I haven't even uploaded episode 1 yet, and uh, I'm going to probably upload close to the summertime, so when you guys hear like, oh, I'm going to school today, don't worry, I'm not in summer school or anything like that, it's just that I'm recording it while I'm still in school. So in fact, our, our actually school days run until, what is it, we graduate on the 26th, I believe, yeah, 26th, so uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Exams start on the 16th or the 11th. I don't even know. I think they start on the 19th or something like that, but we have to do makeups because we're going on a school trip and stuff. It's really stupid. Our administration is driving us through the wall because it's, uh, yeah, they're just like doing that apparently. So, in any case, I'm just going to stop talking about that before I get like attacked by the government or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start putting tinfoil on my, uh, on my windows so they don't read my mind. <laughs> Okay, I'm being weird and stupid, so let's go ahead and put that in there. As you can see, at 24% power, it's cooking just as fast, or actually faster than an electric furnace. So as you can probably imagine, at 100%, it'll be crazy good. So that's pretty awesome. And like I already said, I might have said, I don't know. There are upgraded versions of all these machines, not including the generator. So there is a... In uh, new macerator called the rotary macerator. The compressor is the singularity compressor. There's an extractor called the uh, the the, the um, it's, uh, I forget it. Um, I really want to figure it out because I'm curious. Extract. There it is. It is the centrifuge extractor. That's it. Uh, no, no, close. Okay. Centrifuge extractor. Obviously the induction furnace, and that's pretty much it. I think. I could be missing one. I think I am, actually. Anyways, so I gotta go to bed. It's 11.30 on the dot at the moment. 36%. Let's check out how fast it is. Pretty quick. So, any dust we can cook up here? Anything? No? Okay. Let's check over here. Nothing at all. Alright. Um, anyways, in the next episode, I think we're gonna go ahead and make a rotary, rotary macerator and probably upgrade our power sources. That's just going to get us uh, on the track to better resources and faster resource generation and whatnot. So let's turn this off. Oh, oh, that button. There we go. Sweet. So thank you all for what? What am I doing? No, it's not the end of the episode. I'm just not going to be able to record anymore. So I'm going to uh, cut out now and probably in between the episodes uh, turn my volume back on, actually. There we go. That's better. The induction furnace isn't as loud as the... Uh, electric furnace.
something to keep in mind, I think. Yeah. Sweet. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good night. Okay, everybody, I changed my mind. I'm just going to record for another five minutes or so, just because we're at like 25, 26 minutes, and I don't want to have to finish the episode later on when I have no idea what I'm talking about. So, right now, I'm just going to work on getting some more generators. Not for pl placing them next to my bat box or anything, just to make more power sources, actually, because as you can see, each windmill costs one generator, all the wind or the water mills cost a generator. Most of the power sources, including solar panels, cost a generator, and solar panels are something we're going to use a lot of. Not so much solar panels as solar arrays. I might explain them now, actually, so let's open up NEI. I think I still have solar arrays on this. Yeah, I do. Okay. They just look all the same. So, as you can see, there's the regular old solar panel, okay? That's how it takes to make. So it's 12 rubber wire, sorry, copper cables, and 2 refined iron, and obviously for redstone for these electronic circuits. So two electronic circuits, one generator, six or three coal dusts and two or three glass, sorry. Can't count. It's late. Leave me alone. But with this one solar panel, you can do very little. It does not produce very much energy whatsoever and you will not power your entire industry with one solar panel. So instead of going and making a field of uh of solar panels, you can resort to solar arrays. So this solar array, as you can see, is a low low voltage transformer, which isn't hard to make as you can see, but a low voltage transformer and eight solar panels. So basically you're combining combining the power of eight solar panels into one. So that's a lot of uh, a lot of electronic circuits as you can probably imagine. So this low voltage solar array will produce you with good amount of power actually. I really, really like these things because they're so powerful. The medium voltage is even better, but it costs eight low voltage solar arrays. So that's 64 solar panels. That's a lot. <laughs> that's two stacks of uh, electronic circuits, thus being 12 stacks of wires. That's craziness. So L, uh, medium voltage solar array and one medium voltage transformer, which again, isn't very hard to make. But the high voltage solar array, this, as you probably have guessed, is eight medium voltage solar arrays. So that's eight stacks of solar panels. So 16 stacks of wires. So a lot of, or sorry, not 16 stacks of uh, wires, but 16, how many copper, sorry, how many, uh, what are these things called? Electronic circuits would that be? That's, a, it's crazy. It's too much for me to freaking count because it's late. <laughs> That'll be my excuse for the rest of the night. Either way, it'll take a high voltage transformer as well, which is not cheap. It takes an energy crystal, which is pretty expensive as well. One diamond and lots of redstone. Let's go back to the uh, high voltage solar right here. And uh, yeah, so that's a lot of solar panels, but it's worth it. Okay, because this thing makes so much power, it's insane. One of these is like one and a half of friggin' uh, nuclear reactors, so... Or it could be more, it could be less. I'm just guessing because I only use a Mark I uh, nuclear reactor when I make it. It's actually only a, uh, it doesn't have six um, reactor chambers on it, only five. You guys might not know what I'm talking about there, but I'll explain a little bit later on uh, on uh, nuclear power. I might do some nuclear power stuff in this Let's Play. Don't really know yet, but that's is at 92. So let's go ahead and check and see how fast that is. Look at that. That's just obnoxious. Plus, it cooks double, so I love it. It's amazing. I use it so much, it's, well, I can't even explain it. Now, as you can imagine, if that one's so good, imagine the dark matter furnace and then the red matter furnace. And let's actually look the, the uh, recipes up for those, because I want to figure it out. DM furnace. It's actually not dark matter furnace, it's DM furnace. You can probably see it right there. Dark matter block, dark matter furnace. Now, one thing to note about dark matter blocks is they're just equal to uh, dark matter, regular dark matter. So, four dark matter gives you four blocks. So, one dark matter is one block. Equal exchange. So, one uh, dark matter furnace is equal to eight dark matter, basically, and one furnace. That's a lot of EMC. So, one dark matter furnace is that amount. So, let's look up the RM furnace, or the red matter furnace. So, red matter furnace is a, as you could probably guess, it's eight red matter blocks, but you need the dark matter furnace to make it, so you put that right in the middle. 
Same goes for uh, red matter when it comes to dark matter. So four blocks is four red matter. So that is a lot of EMC. It's like two million five hundred or seven hundred thousand something. So that's a lot of cobblestone. <laughs> And you will not get that just from having quarries. So, I'll try and stop saying so, for one. And I think this is about a good wrapping up point for the episode, I'm sorry to say. But uh, I guess I'll do some more recording tomorrow. That doesn't really matter to you guys, because I'm not recording and uploading. I'm just recording and not uploading for a good amount of time. So, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please give me some good feedback in the uh, comment section below. It really helps out uh, my confidence and, yeah... Not saying I'm low uh, self-esteem here, I really uh, have high self-esteem, but let's not talk about that, because it's a fairly awkward topic, I guess, for most people. Anyways, again, thanks all for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!